There are three classic packing methods that I'm going to share here, and you can mix and match them to meet the needs of your trip. There is the fold flat method, where you simply fold items and put them in your suitcase. There is the rolling method, where you roll everything. And there is the packing cube method, which separates different articles of clothing into separate bags. Which is best? Well, it depends on your trip. If you are just going overnight somewhere and won't be filling up your bag, then you just fold the clothes, put them in the bag, and call it a day. If you're going on a trip where you'll be changing accommodations frequently, then you may want to use packing cubes. The packing cubes will allow you to pull them out and stick them in a drawer of a hotel room without taking individual items out. The rolling technique is quite effective for cramming things into your bag, however it's not for every item. Clothing such as dress pants and gathered skirts will just get very wrinkled if you roll them. I actually use a hybrid of all three techniques when I pack, which I've demonstrated in my How to Pack a Carry-On video. Check out how it includes a special way to pack your pants. Now, cosmetics usually are the biggest issue in packing. These small travel tubes are your friend and can be purchased at any drugstore. If you are packing only carry-on bags, you will want to pack your liquids in a clear plastic bag and carry them in a way that they are ready and accessible to pull out at security. A couple quick travel hacks. If you want to use a spray bottle, put the liquid in a good travel bottle with a cap, then transfer it to a spray bottle when you get to your destination. Spray bottles tend to leak. If you want to scale back on liquids, don't bring body wash, bring bar soap. It's cheaper, lasts longer, and saves the planet from more plastics. Now let's talk shoes. Your goal should be to bring as few pairs as possible. I usually wear my sneakers and then try to pack only two more pair. Shoes take up a ton of space, so coordinate your outfits according to which shoes you will bring. It's smart to bring shoe bags or plastic bags to keep your shoes from soiling your clothes. What's the best way to pack jewelry? Leave it at home. Jewelry is something that I do not travel with. It is smart to leave your valuables at home. However, I realize many people want to adorn themselves on the road, so I came up with this technique when I was traveling to my daughter's wedding and had to bring some jewelry with me. Take a simple washcloth and lay the items lengthwise over the cloth, then simply roll it up, then put in a plastic bag so it doesn't unroll in your bag. When you get to your destination, simply unroll and voila, nothing is tangled. For earrings, put them in a small bag. Try not to use boxes as they just take up extra space. And one last word of advice. If you're going to bring jewelry, don't bring anything expensive or sentimental. If it gets lost or stolen, you don't want to be heartbroken. Now once you've figured out which bag and what you plan to bring, lay everything out on your bed before putting it in the suitcase. If you know it's not going to fit in your bag, go back through your stacks and see what you can eliminate. Better to lighten your load now than to haul around extra luggage on your trip. Now why is everyone so obsessed with putting everything in a carry-on bag? I'll tell you why. Because it saves money and a ton of time. And you don't have to worry about loss or theft. To learn more about packing, see my other packing videos. And to follow my senior and solo travel journeys, please subscribe at Senior Solo Travel. Cheers!